Hello everyone. So today I'm going to talk about Great Expectation. So Great Expectation is one of the finest Victorian theme novel. It was written by Charles Dickens in 1860 and 1861. It pictures the real life, especially life in the United Kingdom. When this novel was published, this era was known as Victorian era because at that time it was coincide with the reign of Queen Victoria. So during at this time, England is experiencing time and growth time of growth and reform. It was a period of peace and important social changes took place as well as rapid economic and technological development during industrial revolution. So what is meant by industrial revolution is all radical change that is caused by new discoveries in industrial technology and transportation. So this revolution contains positive and negative aspect. The positive aspect of the revolution can be seen with the increase in prosperity and natural science that discover new miracles. For example, steam power, electricity that can be utilized for human interest. So meanwhile, the negative aspect of it considered the most serious problem is increasingly striking difference between bourgeoisie and proletariat. So in reality, at the time of Queen Victoria, economic disparities were visible. The rich become richer, the poor become poorer. So let's dive into Great Expectation. So this book is a very successful illustrative of its own time. Dickens wrote Great Expectation based on an orphan boy, Pip, from his childhood to adulthood. So the story begins at Pip village when he was still a child and lived with his lower class family. So he does not go to school. He only has one close friend, a local girl, Biddy, who always teach him about life and the condition of society in this village was very poor and Pip worked as a blacksmith apprentice in country village. So when he was a child, Pip was humiliated due to, due to his social status and he cannot help it but to feel unhappy with his place in life. Then, because he was disappointed, he was humiliated by his lover, Estella, beloved lover. Then Pip attempt to raise his social class by entering high society in London after he suddenly comes into a large fortune from this mysterious benefactor. So Pip travels to London where Mr. Jaggers, the lawyer, will be his guardian until he legally becomes an adult. London in the early 19th century is the primary location of the event of Pip's adult life. So in this town, Pip grow as one of the members of higher class. He learned to be a gentleman. He lived with Herbert Pocket, a young man related to Miss Havisham, who teach him how to develop good mannerism, wearing nice clothes and speaking more formally. So he thought that he was happier and more comfortable there. In this time, Pip was proud with his new social class. His social status make him look down on others and neglect his own family and felt ashamed with his own origin. So Pip become arrogant and spent too much money until he was heavily in debt. So Pip, in the end, Pip fall ill and it was nursed back to help by ever faithful Joe. And Joe also pay off what Pip owe. So Pip has no money left as it was confiscated by the authority. So he returned back to his original home at the blacksmith and intend to marry Biddy, but he is too late because Joe already proposed her. So many years later, Pip meet Estella again. And she is now a widow and way seems clear for Pip to pursue his lost love again. So now, we will analyze on how Victorian society and their social life were presented or represented by the main character with others based on their social class in this novel. So in this this in this novel there are many people who come from different status and social class they were from lower class middle class and upper class so social class played a ma main role as it determined on how someone is treated but also their access to education however social class does not define a person character many characters in this novel were treated differently because of their social class in contrast the treatment that accepted by the rich and the poor do not give a clear understanding on how important social class in this novel. At the beginning of the novel, we did encounter with a common lower class family. They live in a village among swamp. And Mr. Joe was a blacksmith and his wife, his, the sister of Pip, who was a typical Victorian low class housewife. 
we can see that she was submerged under the household duties and always complain about not being able to take off her apron because of her harsh duties she always feel disappointed feel sad and often abuse pay after that we also accounted the high class well-dressed women like Miss Havisham and Estella. So these two different family are one of the example of the existence of social classes in the society. Therefore, to some extent, we got to, we got to know that Victorian era means social hierarchy. So next we will discuss on why Pip want to upgrade his social class. There is two reasons why Pip attempt to change his social class condition. The first one he want to impress his beloved Estella and to get her love. So Estella is a young lady who danced well and, edu and educated from abroad. So to be her equal, he was expected to become a gentleman and he need to have all the upper class values appreciated by the society. And unfortunately, after he managed to improve his social class, he still failed to get Estella. Second, Pipik wanted to change his life. He was so disgusted with his poor life. After seeing the two different lives in his, in his early years, Pip determined to shift to upper class. So he became rich after the secret benefactor gave him money and acquired himself with education and mannerism class. So he successfully upgraded himself, himself, his social status, and start to live his life in a luxurious style. So he also got acquainted with other typical high-class Victorian women. Nevertheless, being an upper class does not fulfill all his expectations. His great expectation to have and to get Estella love was fail. And to add, Industrial Revolution also depicted in this novel, when Pips come to London for the first time, he was surprised and not satisfied with the unbelievable and unavoidable crowd, resulting from the immigration for job and awful spell coming from sewage deals with the factories. So to conclude, Dickens, Dickens efficiently managed to depict Victorian society elements like social class difference, industrialization, Victorian's value through the characters in Great Expectation. The extraordinary things in Great Expectation are, and also this novel has been plotted in very exclusive ways as the surprising revelation came out regarding Pip's secret benefactor, which is the convict Magwitch, not Miss Harvey Hisham. And this thing radically undermined his sense of self-identity. So the influence of Victorian society ruined Pip's SLR and Miss Harvey Hisham life, especially Pip, because he did sacrifice his time and he built up a fantasy of himself. But suddenly he learned that his criminal past was arrived in the present in the shape of Macbeth, and he was almost destroyed by it, and his whole sense of self was contaminated simultaneously and empty out. So that's all for today, and that is the Victorian era represented in Great Expectation by Charles Dickens. So thank you for listening, and have a nice day ahead.